want to bring you that story that we had some technical issues with earlier. The off the street breakfast returning this weekend raises money for the place, a local shelter helping homeless youth in El Paso County. So we find News 5's Ashley Portillo and she's going to tell us all about this event and someone who's benefited from it, Ashley. Hey Allison, good afternoon. So the off the street breakfast is actually the biggest fundraising event of the of the year to help homeless youth right here in our community. And part of the breakfast taking place this Saturday is sharing the inspirational story of one woman who was able to come here to the place and eventually get out of homelessness. Yes. I am the young girl who came from brokenness. Last Thursday, the Off the Street Breakfast was held in person and Evelyn Reeder, the keynote speaker. And yet I stand before you today declaring that I am now sweetly broken. But this upcoming weekend, the event will be held virtually and Reader's story will be shared once again. I ended up um, being homeless for a short amount of time. Um, I was in and out of foster homes uh, from the time I was 11 to 18. Reader said as a youth, she went to more than 15 different foster homes. I was pretty wounded as a kid. I suffered through a lot of abuse, and um, so it was really hard for me to trust adults. But where she did find trust and comfort in was the place. But I do kind of talk about how the place helped me find my place in my speech, um, how they taught me how to... Um, use my spark, my smarts for uh, good instead of evil. Reader said the organization helped her exit homelessness. Can't thank them enough. I have so much gratitude. And pursue a career she loves, teaching. And that's why I chose to work with uh, youth myself, to work with teenagers who have gone through trauma themselves. And that's why I'm so passionate about it. And she says she got a second chance at life thanks to the community resources and those around her. I am not a product of the system. I am a product of love. The place, I'm told, does have a goal of raising $200,000 off of funds from both last week's breakfast as well as this weekend's breakfast. I'm told right now, so far, they've raised $155,000. By the way, the virtual breakfast taking place this Saturday morning at 930. And KOAA News 5 will be right back after this.